My name is Joan. <laughs> For a long time, I was a high school math teacher. I retired and I had this wonderful friend who was very ill and nine days after I retired, she passed. And her parting words to me were, would you look after the old man for me? On August 10th, I took him to an ophthalmologist appointment. Oh, he said, I need to sit on my walker for a moment. And he sat down, took his last breath and died in my arms. And the next week, I read about five and two in the Scarborough Mirror. And I thought, well, my chapter with my dear friend George is over, and this is a new chapter. Feeling useful. Yeah, it is. Love to bake, so I make wonderful, very calorie-rich desserts. And I haven't been doing that for the last year plus. One year old granddaughter, I taught her to make pastry and now she does, she makes apple pies from scratch. Really? Yes. Awesome. November, I did my Christmas baking and I brought some in for Seema and she asked me if I would make 500 little packets of squares and cookies for, I guess, for the uh, clients for Christmas. So that was nice because I love baking. I have a wonderful recipe for a lemon port that's kind of a gelato base. It's frozen, it's wonderful in the summer. I have a, an amazing carrot cake recipe. I have a chocolate tort recipe that's four layers. It was my brother's favorite. Um, cookies, cookies are good. Squares, you name it. Pastry, I'm very good at pastry. <laughs> well, they don't seem to bake too many desserts. I think they're trying to keep things healthy. But at Christmas time, and then um, there was one other time when it was Volunteer Appreciation Week, and Seema asked me if I would make some little things for for the volunteers. And um, at Valentine's, I did some little Valentine cookies and stuff for them. So I am using my baking skills a little bit here. Well, we have had people come and only be here for a couple of weeks for whatever reason. There's one lady who said it was just too hard standing for that length of time. It was bothering her back. So give it a try. Maybe it'll work. And if it doesn't, there's no hard feelings. And um, people are just so helpful and accommodating. I do whatever they ask me to do. If they need a bag of potatoes peeled, I'll do that. A young person will say to me, oh, you've been in the dish pan all day, give me a chance. And uh, I, I, just the fact that they offered. Yeah. Like, they're just, everybody here is very kind, and I do, I do appreciate my time here. And... What surprised me? The variety of people, different ages, different different talents, but everybody gets along, and I do appreciate that so much. Everybody kind of looks out for each other, and it, it's it really is a big happy family. At the end of the day, thank you for your help, and have a good rest of the week, and so on. Oh.